Hi guys. Ooh. If you click that thumbnail, you know what you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the Flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. This is going to be your top of the month love reading for December 2018 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? If you want to know what is going on with the channel, what's going on as far as specials and things of that nature, I want you guys to go ahead and watch your correspondent, how does Bay feel about you for Taurus, where the intro will be there and let you know. Also, you can check the bottom um, in, the, uh, in the description box um, as far as what the special is right now. Um, other than that, uh, tops and mids do not have intro. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Let me go ahead and explain how we're going to be doing things. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to be using two of the Romance Angel Oracle cards to get the overall theme of the love that may be surrounding you. And then we're going to go to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom, three down, um, and any additional cards that I think is relevant to the plot. Okay, move out the damn way. Sorry. Um, as well as uh, clarifying the main energies that's, that are surrounding you in love with the Rider Waite. This is bothering me, guys. There we go. With the Rider Waite. And then we're going to be clarifying those energies. Five cards, by the way, with Morgan Greer. Okay. And we'll have a solidified message. I do go three down on all of the decks. And just tie things together the way I see fit, okay? Let's get into it. You know, whoa. Okay, we got a couple of things that flew out, but I really do think it's relevant. Heart to heart conversation, Taurus. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. Finances and career, okay? Now, because those came out, thank you, Spirit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give the deck another good shuffle just to make sure that when we pull off the top, we've shuffled these bad boys up, okay? Oh, my goodness. We got stuff popping over, so we got to take it. Flirt, Taurus. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Taurus, it is safe for you to love. Spirit wants you to know that if you open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Now, if we want to take a sneak a peek, right under that is true love, right under that is express your love, and right under that is attraction. So I think it's safe to say that six cards down all have to do with the fact that you need to show some type of expression of your love to someone who you're connecting with, okay? So in a situation like that, I feel like there's been some stagnancy. There's been something that came about in the last cycle or the cycle that's about to end. Um, something was going on possibly with financial factors that you didn't want to share with your partner. Um, a lot of people get really strange about money. You will be surprised. Like A lot of people get to the point where... Um, I know a couple of Zodiacs like this, but they have other placements, so I don't want to overgeneralize, but this is a people thing, not necessarily a Zodiac, because I don't want to get into that, but people get funny about when they're having some type of issue, especially in dating. No one wants to let you know that, and that's what's going on, okay? Um, so if you're connecting with someone and everything is fine in the beginning of the relationship, and then as the relationship progresses, there's been some type of change in finances, I can tell you right now, um, depending on how well you guys know one another, that's not something that someone wants to easily reveal. But I'm see I'm seeing that that could have played a factor, but there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation all the way around. Universe Spirit, let's go ahead and get these cards that surround love energy that surrounds Taurus, okay? When I was tapping in, I did see some type of separation. You guys could be separated from your partner right now um, as I was tapping in. I did get the sense that there was some type of stagnancy with communication possibly, but I saw that there is a separation. Um, and that was that that came out very strongly. Okay. Whoa. Yes. All right. So now we want to bring things back into balance with the six of pentacles. First card in your energy. This is definitely your energy. Okay. Makes sense. Taurus. Yep. 
Then we got the eight. All right. Some of you guys are definitely connecting with water because Cancer just got this eight of pentacles. What else do we have? Love energy that surrounds Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in this top of the month. Love. The High Priestess. Okay. All right. So show me spirit. What else? That High Priestess is definitely something that you didn't want to show. I told you. Definitely. That's the reason why. I, oh, spirit. Yeah. It's telling you that you need to um, have this heart to heart conversation. Right now, though, there's some type of conflict. Um, I'm feeling what this is right now, but I'm not going to say. I'm going to wait for the clarifier, but there's definitely some type of quarreling, some type of conflict, or some type of competition, okay, um, that is taking place in this energy. And last but not least, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Spirit threw these two cards out, okay? Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a new, abundant beginning, someone that's going to be making us a, a firm, solid, steady offer, okay? So in your energy, Taurus, there is a lot a lot of your energy, okay? And then your card, the Hierophant, is coming up in reverse. So right now, you are coming out of this, but coming out of this very slow. You're slowly getting back to yourself, although this Ace of Pentacles is here. So this indicates that something definitely closed in the last cycle we're going to be bringing forth. And this is another thing. I think this ties directly into what this is because the conflict correlate or competition has definitely been expressed in a very bold, direct, and assertive kind of way with this Knight of Swords. And someone, either you yourself, Taurus, or someone that you have been connecting with, has not been delivering some messages good that could be causing the conflict because this is bottom of the deck energy. Um, as a result of that, this that there is some stagnancy in this connection with that card. I will clarify it, but... Um, the fool is in reverse, so that's letting me know that this is a very low vibrational leap of faith. The leap of faith exists, but it's very low right now. And I think as we come out of the hair font being in reverse, then so our leap of faith or our our uh, willingness to take a leap of faith will be our faith in faith will be restored okay now if we peek one more down we had the knight of cups so i definitely see that there's going to be some heart to heart conversations or something that's going to be moving here so let's get started we start off right here with the six of pentacles this is a need for balance i do feel like i say it all the time this is the lack card either i will or i won't with one scale or do or i don't too many people's hands in the pot. You could be being pulled from all different angles. Um, that could have definitely caused some type of stagnancy in this connection. And as a result of this um, conflict right here or something from the past, we need to bring this, uh, this situation back into balance. Then we go from the six to the eight. So focusing on that pinnacle, focusing on things that this pinnacle right here, possibly so you can offer it with this ace. Possibly so this is the same pinnacle that you're working on because you want to offer it So I feel like either you Taurus or someone that you're connected with was having some type of issue right here um, With these pinnacles and again finances and careers here So this card could definitely represent the fact that you are working really hard right now And you kind of lost sight of things But this definitely shows the stability in your energy that you're willing to put in the work Because this is what we end with So you obviously get things on the good foot and you're ready And this high priestess talks to, talks to me about this Sorry about that Ooh. This high priestess is talking directly to the finances and career card and the fact that there needs to be a talk had about finances and career. I think that um, overall, I don't see a lot of love cards in here. Um, so I'm not necessarily feeling like this is a new connection, Taurus. I'm feeling like this is a connection that took place and maybe kind of that, that existed and kind of fell off a little bit. Um, this is a new beginning, but this can be a resurgence in your love. Um, I, I'm ready to clarify because I'm ready to, to do this, but I feel like you're just kind of operating all over the place, um, from a standpoint where you're not feeling like yourself. 
Um, but you're trying, the spirit is urging you to get back to flirting and to let you know that it is safe to love and you obviously called this person in. I don't feel like it's a new person yet. For some of you, a very small margin of you, this is, um, represents new, a new person, but I'm just not feeling it. Let's go ahead and clarify and see if spirit will change my mind. We're normally on the same page, but things happen, okay? Tell me, Spirit, why is this Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Taurus? Same thing that Cancer got because um, the Six of Pentacles was here because there has been some aggression with the Seven of Wands. Um, there has been um, a need, okay, some defiance and, and, and some conviction on bringing things into balance. I feel like with this... Knight of Swords, there's been some aggression. There's been some defensiveness um, about the fact that things were just kind of all over the place between you and the person you're connecting with. Um, and it was just that because someone was holding something back, could have something to do with loss of a job or just not having their finances together. There just wasn't any con conversation about that. As a result, that's why this energy is here clarifying the fact that it needs to be brought back into balance, okay? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles, see? Then we go from the Seven, and then we automatically go to the, the Ten. So, um, work was a burden. The Pentacle that was being nursed was a burden. There's a need here to go back and reevaluate. There's a need here to go back something work and financial related and relook at something um and the reason why i say uh, because th after the 10 we can't go anywhere but to the ace but we didn't go to the ace of wands we have an ace of pentacles so i feel like these burdens the weight of of the burden of these wands had to be uh put down and i think that that's what happens there's some type of financial burden or something, uh, someone feels like someone else wasn't putting in their proper share or fair shake or proper uh, give and take in this union, okay? Clarify this high priestess. What was not being revealed? What wasn't being revealed is the five of pentacles, the fact that there was some type of financial loss. This is feeling left out in the cold. Someone has undergone a huge Taurus. Someone that you're connected with or this is your energy it has undergone a huge uh, financial burden. I don't feel like this has anything to do with heartbreak. I'm really feeling like um, what's affecting your love life right now are financial issues. I promise that out of all, and you guys need to talk about it. I promise out of all of these cards, that's what I'm pulling toward. Um, clarify this uh, five of wands. There's a lot of fire here. I'm going to talk about these zodiacs. See the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles was challenged. The King of Pentacles has a lot in on his plate. The King of Pentacles is a very good king um, as far as financial stability and things of that nature and firm, solid um, solid ground in which to build um, or upon for our future abundance. But I feel like if this is clarifying this um, Five of Wands, too many people, hands are in the pot, which goes back to this damn Six of Pentacles. Um, I just feel like too, there's too much on the king right now. And that could have caused this feeling of being just rejected and left out in the cold. And basically, this isn't fear of loss like the four of pentacles. But I feel like it does represent the fact that something was um, lost. This is, again, the, um, the uh, abundance card because it's a pentacle. So I feel like that's that's what happened. It's, it's a lot of people involved. Maybe this person is some type of business owner, entrepreneur. Um, there's something that this King of Pentacles provides. And as a result of that, to multiple people, multiple people hands are in the pot. And there is something Taurus or cross watcher that Taurus doesn't want you to know. I'm not getting one way or the other, although there is strong pentacle here, Taurus. So I feel like if this isn't you who you're connecting with and their sun, moon, Venus, I would say Venus and Mars definitely had, they have Earth somewhere in the planet that, um, that um, I would probably say Mars and hold on. They have Earth 
in their 10th house. That's Mars. No, that's Saturn. Career, long-term goals, structure, status. They might have Earth there. Um, and yes, this means a lot to me, so I'm checking. So just be, um, be um, patient with me. Um, but um, Saturn rules the 10th house. That's uh, where Capricorn is. And this makes sense because you are Taurus and your energy is very well, although Capricorn is cardinal, Taurus and you're fixed, it still is a very similar type energy as far as someone matching you in that particular area. And when they get to the point where they're not feeling very financially stable or abundant, they would rather keep that to themselves and kind of withdraw, okay? Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. The good thing is, is it comes around and it turns all the way around. And there's going to be some type of new um, stable beginning, maybe with this person's finances turning around and or. And this is what's clarifying it. The fact that they were the thief. They didn't want to be honest about what was going on. Instead of including you in what was going on, they decided to take the information and try to break out like a thief in the night. And I feel like that, you probably thought that it was more than that. You probably thought that it wasn't this um, career in finances. You probably thought that it was another woman. This person was retreating. Um, and you, on the other hand, are like, what? Like, you know... You handle things a certain way. They're not relying on you. You are the Taurus if this is um, what's happening to you. You are the Taurus. You are the person that can assist and, and can help out and can build with a person. But this person did not allow you the benefit of the doubt to help. Instead, they kind of handled it the way they knew how to handle it by retracting um, and kind of going ghost, okay? And um, I feel like we got two sevens here. We got the seven of pentacles in reverse. We have the seven of cups upright. And then we have the wheel of fortune. So the fortune is about to turn. Destiny is going to turn this thing around. Two sevens is choices. Uh, a person wasn't feeling like they were waiting on their ships to come in. Instead, they chose to focus on things that didn't help them financially. This is a cup card, but I feel like maybe they invested wrong. Maybe they had their sights set on illusions, gold, fantasy, um, you know, things that, that, that didn't serve them in their day-to-day -day business or life. And this is them squandering money. This is them um, really putting a lot of stock in, um, in, in, in financial abundance. And as a result of that, they got caught up in what this money could do and jewelry and partying. That's that's what the this uh, Seven of Cups is representing for me right now. And um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So destiny is changing. Destiny is definitely about to take a turn. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify a few more. I'm breaking out Gilded. Breaking out gilded for a second, Taurus. There are two cards here that I want to clarify. And then we're going to get you out of here, okay? Because I feel universe, spirit, angels, and my gods. Go ahead and clarify for me. Whoa. Clarify this high priestess and the five of pentacles. Clarify the high priestess, please, and the five. Ace of Wands. So this is letting me know that after we leave here, that's where we go, okay? So you do come out of this. There is a new passionate beginning. There is a new passionate start. Um, the creativity is back. This ended up being a damn career and finance reading, but it's affecting your love life, so... You know, I don't know whether this resonates with it resonates with somebody because there is a, a lot of things going on here that has something to do with money, money as it directly affects your relationship. There has been some things that have not been allocated for, accounted for, and some things damn sure that hasn't been revealed. OK, go ahead and clarify this conflict. 
Yes, transfer transformative energy with this Scorpio card. That this person mishandled money. Taurus, it could be you. Um, a mishandling of money. Too many people in the business. Too many hands in the pot. Telling you how to do this and how to do that. Pulling at you. Pulling at this king of pentacles. It caused trouble. I'm surprised the tower didn't come out. But this person had to completely transform. Taurus, it could be you or the person that you are connecting with. And we're going to go ahead and give you the bottoms of this deck. So we have the high priestess again. So this is letting me know that you're being called to use your... I mean, this is the high priestess. And we got the damn high priestess twice. Overall, you're being called to use use your intuition here you were called to use your intuition too but I, I also felt like that was something that wasn't told when I have it again use your intuition for anything that you feel like you're stuck in okay so we have it out here twice okay then we have judgment so the call is coming judgment is here there's going to be quick swift and and forward moving um action sorry because this judgment is here the call this is the wake up call okay and then that's where i'm gonna stop this is a beautiful reading i think that we have scorpio here so back to these zodiacs cancer pisces and scorpio is not anywhere in this particular reading we have all fire and we have all earth the entire spread the entire spread we have that that i mean that's it the entire spread Will for the same thing. The only Cancer Pisces Scorpio card we have, sorry, I stopped, is that Seven of Cups and the Clarifying Energy. That's it. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One, two, three. We have four. We have Scorpio, the Death card. We also have Fire. We have a lot of Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So that is the strong influences in your particular love spread right now. Taurus, um, you guys got money on the brain. You got your mind on your money. And I think that's what I'm going to call this. Um, I did not see as many um, love cards for you other than this is what you're focused on. So you have calling in your soul mate. You got flirt and it is safe for you to love. Um, I, I don't think you're focused on it right now. Um, but this is definitely going to be going on. This isn't new love. This isn't one of those loves that you have to impress. This is someone who you strapped up your bootstraps with and you went on the front line with and you've been earning with. You've been building with. So you don't have to say, baby, baby, I love you every five minutes to this person. This is some a person that you guys have seen each other at your best and seen each other at your worst. And this is just one of them spells where now it's time to kick in high gear and get this money right, okay? So um, I certainly hope it resonated, okay? Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Go ahead and um, share this with a Taurus in your life, okay? I'll see you back here in a week as we examine the love energy that surrounds you and the mid-month love, Taurus, okay? Bye.